Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be learning about learning about oh, I can't talk. Learning about something new that's going to be so super cool. So these are known as modules. So modules are something that when you first open Python, you can't use them yet. You have to import them, but they're some of them are built in, so you don't have to download anything. But basically, when you import these modules, it allows you to do a whole bunch of more things. And one of these modules that we're going to be using today is SYS or SYS. So in order to import it, all we do is say import SYS. Now with SYS, it comes, it, it brings a bunch of new features that we can do. All right, so in order to use one of these features, we say uh, SYS, and then what we can do, there's one of these things that we can do. It's a uh, ST. D I N. You see it pops up there. Oops, I didn't mean to press enter. Gosh. And then what we do, read line. All right. So this code, just memorize this. That what this will do is it will allow us to take an input when we're running the program from the user of the program, and we can assign that to a variable. So here I'll show you what I mean. So when when we press that. Uh, we can say something, but it doesn't really do much. But watch this. We can say print, and then within our print, we can say sys. Now, when I run this, you can see there's a blank line. And now, whatever we type into this blank line, it's going to print it. Hey. So you can see it printed hey. So basically, it took an input within the program, which is awesome. That, bring, that brings us to a whole new level of programming where we're starting to define variables dynamically or do things dynamically rather than having it all programmed behind the uh, shell. We start taking values from the actual user of the program. So let's, let's create something cool. I want to create a tip calculator. So uh, in the last video, oh, my computer just froze. Okay, I think it's working. All right, in, the, in a couple videos ago, we talked about a tip calculator, although the only problem with our tip calculator was that it only told us the, the total price, and I, I don't think I implemented that right, but I, was, I wasn't really paying attention at the time. Although this video, we're going to be creating a tip calculator where we take the user's price of the meal and then we take how much we want to tip them and it will tell us the amount of dollars or whatever um, whatever f currency you're using that you need to pay the waiter alright so we're going to do all of this within a function so let's define a function we'll just name it tip doesn't really matter what we name it and what we're going to do is we're going to ask some questions so let's print how much was your meal so this is a question for the user and what we can do is we can assign an input to a variable and use that variable to print out values later so let's just create a price and let's say what we're going to do is we're going to force this to be an integer and the way we do this is we use an uh, the int function and that's going to take any value and convert it to an integer so basically when we insert like 75 within this read line it stores it as a string with the values 75 and we want to convert that to an integer so this is a function that is able to do that. All right, so what we can do within this function, we just take sys dot in read, read line. It's kind of hard to pronounce like that, but you get what I'm saying. Sys, I'll just type it out. Uh, all right, and then we go to the next line, and then we ask another question. How much do you want to tip them? Gosh. Sorry, I didn't mean to press on it. I need to start using the actual program and just running these files, but we'll get to that someday. All right, so now what we're going to do after this 
is we're going to make another variable, the tip amount. And we'll cast that to an int. So now, the way this program is going to work is it's going to start. Once we call this function, the program will run. It'll ask us how much our meal is. We type it in, and it will assign it to the value to the variable price. Then it will ask, how much do you want to tip them? We type that in, and it will assign it to the variable tip. All right? So uh, the only problem is is when they put in, a, let's, let's say, uh, leave off any periods just so people are clear on what to do so now when people will put in like how much do you want to tip them or let's say what percent do you want to tip them so someone will put like 20 so they'll put 20 uh, so leave off any periods or percent signs now they'll just put in a value like 20 Alright guys, so the only problem with this right now is that when people put this in without any periods or percent signs, it's going to be an integer such as 20. Well, that, that can't be used because that's not a percent, that's an integer. So we need to convert that to a decimal which can be used as a percent. And uh, from math class, you know that you can divide by 100 to do that. So basically, if we have 20 and we divide that by 100, we're going to have 0.20. And then we can take a number such as 10, multiply it by 0.20 to give us the value 2, which tells us our tip price is $2. So if that's too complex, just copy me. Seriously, it's not that big of a deal. So Although you should try to understand this. So we could say something like final uh, tip amount. And then we can assign it the value price multiplied by and then within parentheses for uh, priority reasons we want it to take tip and divide that by 100 so that way it divides tip by 100 before it multiplies it by price then what we can do is finally once we have all these values we can print them out so let's first print you will want to tip them and then we need to put a variable within here so we use percent s as we learned in previous videos and then we put a percent sign and then we tell them the amount that we want uh, we we tell them what variable we want to put there which would be final tip amount and then what we add, do is we add the string dollars so the way this works now is let me just explain this first I typed it out all at once just so we could explain through the process and then we could uh, actually run it and see how it works so looking at this final print let's look at this first it's going to print out the string you will want to tip them and then it will print out the value of final tip amount so for this has to be correct in order for this to be correct but let's just say this this turns out correct it's going to do that and then it's going to add this string space dollars so that way it'll be like you will want to tip them two and then a space between the two and then the word dollars or whatever your currency is so looking at the whole program first thing it does is ask the question how much was your meal then it takes an input of a number so this is the this is how we do that with this sys thing right here we give it a, a number let's say it's 10 it takes that and it's it's in string form it's basically just a string with the value 10 it converts that to an integer using this int function which surrounds the whole thing and it assigns that value to price and then asks another question what percent do you want to tip them and we give them a whole number no periods no percents so like 20 20 um, and then what it does is it does the same exact thing, assigns it to an int, and assigns it to the value tip. Now, we take tip, and we divide it by 100, so we get 20, and bring that down to 0.20, multiply that by the price, and then assign that whole thing to final tip amount. Then what we do is we print out the final tip amount, 
in a user-friendly sentence. So hopefully I did all this right. Let's try it out. If not, I'm going to look really, really stupid, but just be patient with me. <laughs> so what we do is we call the function. How much was your meal? My meal was $100. What percent do you want to tip them? Leave off any periods or percent signs. Okay, uh, 20, I guess? So then it'll say, you will want to tip them $20. Very simple English, and it works awesome. Let's try it again. Skip a couple lines. Tip. How much was your meal? It was $72. Uh, what percent do you want to tip them? Let's tip them 30%. I'm feeling pretty generous. You will want to tip them $21. Holy cow! And yeah, you can see that it's not very good at uh, rounding up, but you know, you get the point. $21.6 or 60 cents. The only problem that I can think of right now is obviously you can put a bunch of junk in. You can try putting words in. So this program is very easily broken. Another thing is it doesn't really work well with decimals. So uh, let's I'll show you this tip. If we say 72.5, well it doesn't really understand that because this is not an integer. An integer is a whole number such as 72 or 73 but not 72.5. So um, I'm, there are ways to fix this although that goes way beyond the depth of this video and I just wanted to get your guys uh, satisfy you guys by starting a cool awesome program. So hopefully it was legit and I think it was pretty legit so as videos go on we'll try to figure out how to improve our programs and do other cool things. So let me know if this video was useful or if uh, I jumped into the in-depth programming too soon or what. Because I mean this is kind of this uh, this style I don't really use make videos this style usually so I'm kinda trying new things and I want you guys to give feedback so I know which direction to go. So yeah leave a comment subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Keep on programming.